objectives. Learning the history of behaviorism. In what way can environment and the in reinforcement cost us to work against our own best interest? Second, analyze a behavior in terms of stimulus organism response model with attention to reinforcement schedule and secondary reinforcers. The last objectives, the importance between classical conditioning and operant conditioning. Behaviorism. The first part of my report will be the behaviorism. Behaviorism is also known as behavioral psychology. It is a theory of learning which states all behaviors are learned through interaction with the environment through a process called conditioning. Thus, behavior is simply a response to environmental stimuli. So, for that, I will not read all of that. So, my insights for the behaviorism are it is only cons behaviorism is only concerned with the observable stimulus and also the response of behavior behaviors as they can be studied in a systematic and observable manner because behaviorism is begun in 1913 The fourth slide will be the basic assumption of behaviorism. So the first one under of basic assumption of behaviorism will be that all behavior is learned from environment because for me behaviorism it emphasizes the role of environmental factors in influencing the behavior to the near exclusion of innate or or the inherited factors this essentially focusing on learning the second basic assumptions of behaviorism will be the psychology should be a sign be seen as a science why because for me theories need to be more empirical of their own data that has contained the task obtained through careful and to be controlled observation and the measurement of the behavior because based of what I had remember by Watson's psychology as a behave behaviorist it views it is a purely objective empirical branch of a natural science because the component of the component of the theory should be as simple as possible because psychology should be more more operational defining variables in terms of observable measurement measurable events there is a little difference between the learning that takes place in humans and that in order and then in other animals because for me there is no fundamental qualitatively because it is a distinction between human and animal behavior therefore research can be carried out on animals as well as the humans like comparative comparative psychology and also consequently rats and pigeons became the primary source of data for behaviorists as their environments could be easily controlled